In today's Taiwan by Number, we're going to be talking about how schools are working to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Are you going to school us? Yeah, I'm going to school you. <laughs> <laughs> she always does. <laughs> okay, well, the first thing they did was to keep the students at home for an extra two weeks, right? Yes. So, the students have enjoyed the longest winter break in the history of Taiwan. Really? Yeah. Wow. So, how long was that winter break? Oh, That's man. the question. How many days? She's asking like the two people that don't have kids. <laughs> yeah. Um, Andrew? No, I was, I, I'm not going to talk to you. 24 days? Okay, 24 oh, days. Oh, we're doing it in days, not a week. Days, yeah. Okay, I'm going to say, I think it was like six weeks. Six times seven is 36. 36. What? 24 and 36. Okay, <laughs> before right? we... Is that long? That feels really long. <laughs> before we get to the answer, let's take a look at this video about um, schools reopening. Children in Taiwan are back to school, but school life has changed. Many schools are using new ways to prevent disease, like these dividers. At Daja Elementary School, every student has their own divider to prevent the spread of viruses through airborne droplets. During lunchtime, the children keep a distance from each other when they're eating. Some schools don't allow their students to talk to each other during lunch. This mom says she's so worried about her kids going back to school, it's affecting her sleep. She used to celebrate when her kids went back to school, but now she says she has a lot more anxiety. The students need to disinfect their shoes before they enter the campus and get their temperature checked. Windows are kept open so fresh air can come in. And now each class has a sanitation monitor. He says his responsibility is to disinfect the classroom from doorknobs to desktops. The sanitation monitors are in charge of keeping the classroom clean. As children play dodgeball, Taiwan schools hope they can dodge any outbreak of COVID-19. <laughs> okay, so Taiwan students have enjoyed the longest winter break in history. You said... Wait, can I just... <laughs> I want to save myself here. I said 7, 6 is 36. I meant 42. So you want to up your answer? Uh, well, your let's, guess? let's say between 36 and 42. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. If it's that, then you, you got it. And you said... 24. 24. Let's take a look at the answer. Oh. 32. That's quite a long time to have your kids at home. I meant 36, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, question number two is that, you know, um, they're getting drilled into how, how to wash their hands, which is a five-step process, which is great. It's something we should do all the time, right? right. Yes. Um, now, according to the WHO, how long should we spend on this five-step process, which includes oh, okay. rinsing and scrubbing, uh, lathering, scrubbing, and wiping off the faucet. I know the answer. I know you're very good about washing your hands, and that's <laughs> why I... Uh... I know that... In seconds. Okay, how you many? go first. In, in seconds. Because I know the answer. Are we you saying, like, from answer. dirty hands to clean hands, how long does that yeah, process take? Yeah, including just, like, put, turning on the faucet, wetting your hands, 45 lathering. seconds. 45. Wait, including turning on the faucet? Yeah, the whole process. Oh. I thought you just meant like There's this. a range, actually. It should be 20 seconds while you're actually scrubbing. Oh, oh I... Mm. <laughs> okay. 42? 45. 45 and 20. 20. All right, let's take a look at what WHO says. 40, 40 to 60, 60 seconds. seconds. What? Nobody counts the time when you turn on the faucet. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that's a whole process. No, no, you, no, that's what, I'm just talking about the actual scrubbing part. Okay. 20 seconds. Second, more or less. Cards on okay. the table, I don't spend. So, but I bet most of us I don't count spend to 20. that long. I count you, can, 20. you can sing the alphabet song, actually. Oh. And that's about 20 seconds. Oh. So. All I right. sing it fast, though. Sing it slow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another thing that uh, schools are doing are keeping the windows open. And that's because the fresh air can replace the indoor air, right? That's mm -hmm. natural ventilation. Mm -hmm. So how long does it take for the fresh air to replace the indoor air in one room when the windows are open? How big is the room? Well, are we on talking average, about? okay. <laughs> how many windows are we talking about? <laughs> This is an average in a report that was in the news recently. So. Oh, have you ever like just opened two windows in a room and just feel a whoosh? I yeah. feel like it's really fast. It can be fast. I want to say five seconds, three and a half. What? Yeah, I, I, it's, I think it's really fast. If we're talking I'm going to about... say I agree with you. However, I think if you want to get like air into all the nooks and crannies. Mm. <laughs> what are you going to do? A minute. The whole room. A minute. A minute. Okay, let's take a look at the answer. You're right, seconds. Andrew is right, yes. right on the button. All right, good for you. 
Yes. Okay, our last question has to do with, you know, we saw in the video they have dividers, right? Some yes. of these schools. Mm -hmm. Because if someone coughs or sneezes, you could uh, get uh, infected, right? Right. So how far do you have to be from someone to not be affected if they cough or sneeze? How many meters? Oh, I or know. feet, you can do it in feet as well. I saw like a video on social media, it was like, it was something astronomical. You're like, kidding me, astronomical. don't scare me. <laughs> Oh my god, it you're scaring me now. Yeah. Phenomenal. <laughs> um, some of them would go like, what? Are well, we talking about sneezing? Sneezing, coughing. Oh, astronomical sneezes. I think it goes up to like, oh my god. My gut tells me 15 to 25 meters. Oh no, yeah. stop it. I'm, I'm going to say it's like two meters. Okay, two and 15 to 25. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the answer. Two yes. meters. Andrew is doing very well today. Yeah, that's <laughs> why the social media lie to me. So like, that's like six feet, like me, maybe me and uh, Leslie there. So if I see you, I can affect you. Guys are you. If the windows are open and the breeze carries it, <laughs> right, you might right, get 15 right, to 25. Right, right, right. Well, you know, we might have a pretty explosive sneeze. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and that is Taiwan by number for the week.